Uh, the show contains scenes of violence and coarse language. Viewer discretion is advised. I ain't a fucking chooch. Took you in as family. You took me in as family. Mm, and we will always be family. Shit! Put your fucking hands up! Put your fucking hands up! Do not move. What the fuck's going on? Put your weapon on the ground. <laughs> I'll play your game. Do not look away from me. Look away. Mm, that's the one I friend. Tony, put your hands down. Take his <laughs> gun. Yeah. Oh. It would appear the tables have turned, Tate. Back the fuck up. Yeah, get away, my friend. <laughs> oh yeah, here's your... Here's your sword back. Oh, th thank you, Lucy. Well, 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 Lucifer, why you doing this? Eh, hey, what's this? I was fucking sick, and I'm sorry. Now I'm repaying my fucking debt, and this bitch killed Jack. Yeah, he did. Get in the fucking shed right now. How do you feel, Mr. Warden? Well, I can certainly say with the death of my long-standing comrade and the sudden change of events that I'm a little bit bewildered and... Bamboozled, but part of me should have seen this coming. Well, he caught me by surprise too. A big, beautiful surprise. Lucifer, consider everything that happened. Forgotten, okay? I knew you were sick. You know that, right? I told you, eh? I would take care of you. Yeah. You didn't have to go to the extent though. My fucking ear, you know? <laughs> but anyways, this... Yeah. This makes up for it, I'm telling you. Thank you for this gift. I've received so many gifts, State. People respect me in this fucking country now. You don't understand how much influence I have. These people bring me all sorts of gifts to earn my respect. But him, Lucifer here, he brought me the uh, cherry on top. Mr. Warden himself. Piece of shit, get on your fucking knees right now. Let's go. Take it easy, Mr. Moretti. I'm sure there's a way out of this. <laughs> Don't you crack me up, you son of a bitch. <laughs> there's, a, there's a way out of this. <coughs> you, th you think there's, a, there's an actual w God damn it. You think there's an actual way out of this? You piece of shit. You think I'm gonna be so nice just like you? I could torture you too. You just blew my fucking ear. Eyes are still fucking hurting. And I'm still feeling those fucking sticks when you're hitting me. I'm gonna take this fucking head off. There we go. I believe today is your judgment day. I'll give you an appeal. Just like, hey, you done for me. So, tell me why I should fucking let you live. If you ever want to continue your business completely, wholly under your power, without any threat from the South, that would be one option. The second would be, what are you going to tell your family member, Alfie Halbridge, in the unlikely event of my demise? Are you going to say you killed me? I think that right goes to Alfie, and not you. As bad as you thought you've had it, you have no idea how bad it could have been. Number one, you guys ain't no fucking threat. Number two, too fucking bad Alfie betrayed us, and I don't give a shit. Now I'm gonna tell you something right now. If you intend on killing me, I'm gonna want you to. I don't want you to take any side actions or anything. I'm not going to beg for my life. I am going to die a man. It doesn't matter how insane you claim me to be. If it is my judgment day, then I will stand proud and take my fate that is to be dealt to me. You piece of fucking shit. This is the last fucking time that you're going to be holding up people on that goddamn fucking island. You fucking understand me? Do you fucking understand me? Look me in the eyes when you kill me! I want to see the whites of them fade! Fucking chooch! You have no idea what you fucking done to us! See you in hell, motherfucker! Yeah, see you in hell! I will not forget this, Lucifer. As you must know, I cannot take you back into this family because you betrayed us. But. I will allow you to come back to town whenever you feel like it. Yeah, I understand. I can't thank you enough. 
and when I tell the boys what you've done, you'll be a free man in our book. Just please, control your damn self, go see a fucking doctor. Find somebody who could help you uh, mm. control yourself. Hey. But I want to let you know something. You won my game. <sighs> Looks like I did, eh? It was finally done. Tate was dead. But it was time for me to come home and tell the family. <coughs> Tony! Holy shit, man! <sighs> oh, where you been? Um, preoccupied. Sorry if uh, you were worried. Uh, I'll explain later. Eh? <laughs> Round up everybody in town, eh? I, uh, have some news. I explained to everybody the details prior to Tate's death. I especially wanted them to understand that Lucifer repaid his debt. Lucifer had to take me the way he did because he knew nobody here would believe. He knew I would not believe. And he did this to repay his debt to me. So Lucifer was on your side? Exactly. And I'm happy to announce that Tate, he's sleeping with the fishes. Holy fuck. Are, are, are you fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I blew a we goddamn bullet right through his fucking brain. Myself. Oh my god. <laughs> and it was the oh, most fantastic yeah, feeling in the world. But hold on, everybody. Hold on. But remember, this is all thanks to Lucifer. I could not accept him back into the family obvious fucking reasons everything he did cannot be forgotten to that point but I also cannot forget what he done for me today so from now on he is no longer on the list he is welcome to come to town but he cannot be familiar we are no longer hostile to him unless he gives us another reason to do it but I doubt it we had a good chat we did it boys wow we did it let me be the first to fucking congratulate you boss Jesus Christ. Hey, Thank you. Come here. Come here. Yeah. It's fucking over, pal. It's fucking over. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Thank you, fucking God. You're all right. And, uh, it's, oh, uh, Jesus I, uh, I, uh, I just want to say, I, uh, Easy, take it easy, take it easy. Oh. Alright, all right. Okay. Just take a little sip, alright? Just a little sip. Yeah. Save for the Tony if he needs it. There you go. Alright, alright. Oh, Jesus. What happened? You passed, you passed out, pal. You passed out, out boss. boss. But I'll, I'm gonna go get the doc for you. Oh, here he is. Right here. Oh, here he is. How bad is it, huh? <laughs> Tony, you don't got much time. <laughs> Fuck, I knew you were gonna say that. You're lucky if you get a week. There's nothing we can do now. Even if your brother showed up tonight, gone through your whole body now. I could feel it. I knew I was dying. I just didn't know it was gonna be so quick. It was important for me to catch up with everybody before I go. Look at us. The original six. Minus, of course, Alfie and Jack. As they are not familiar anymore. But us, us four, we started something. And I want us to finish it. Huh. So even when I'm dead, I want you guys to keep going. I want you guys to trust each other, to take care of each other. That's all I want. And for God's sakes, do some good business. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, boss. You got it. We're family, boss. I, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just a little, uh... <coughs> <coughs> you take the time, the time you, you need. <clears throat> Oh, God. 
I would have loved to see my brother Bobby, you know. Just this one hey, fucking time. We're still gonna look for that son of a bitch. We're still looking for him. Well, according to the doc, you got about a week. <laughs> More or less. I just be alone for a minute. Yeah, boss. Thank you. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fucking fair. We, we gotta, we gotta stay positive. You know what I mean? Yeah, we gotta stay as positive as we can. I, I know it's a hard time for everybody. This man. Uh, you know, I feel like a piece of home is, is leaving me or something, but we got to keep our heads up. For him, you know, just, just remember it's for him. He's okay. I was wondering why we're so quiet in town. Yeah. Hey, buddy, 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 follow me. Yeah. I'm sorry, uh, you can't be up not here. Too well come up here. with the weapon right now, but, uh... <laughs> Hey, hold up, hold up. Hang on, hang on. Put your fucking hands up. Now where are we going, Mr. What? Red? Whoa, Put whoa, whoa. Put your fucking hands up, Alfie. Alright, alright. Somebody take his fucking gun. Vinny. I got this. I got this. I need you to now, let Tony know that, that fucking heard. Alfie just showed up. J J Johnny fucking sent me to fucking tell you uh, Alfie is in town right fucking now. What do you want me to do? Bring him in here. Yes, sir. I'll be right back. With Johnny. Bring it out. Yeah. Once you bring him in there. Right. All right, pal. Uh, Johnny. Start walking. Up that way. Cool. Up that way. What brings you here, Alfie? What brings me here? After you betrayed us <coughs> by leaving, <coughs> by leaving your family. Betrayal. I just wanted to come see you, actually, one last time. I can see you're quite sick. Well, I'm. I know you might have questions, and um. Yeah, you fucking. That's why I'm here. You bet I got questions. What the fuck, Alfred? <coughs> Why would you do that? Why would you give up the search? Why would you... <coughs> oh, fuck! Why would you... Not come back? Why weren't you there, Alfie, when I returned? We were all a little confused. Uh, contacting you through the radio. You weren't answering. You were clearly gone. And we didn't know why or how or... For what reason. I made sure that we were looking, and, um, we tried to find you, and we put words out, and, well, everything I heard came back negative. Well, slowly, people and family started to flee of town, and I realized that there was no mafia anymore, and, well, there was no family. And, well, after two weeks, I assumed you were gone, dead or you had left and uh, decided that um, there was a better life for you. And I mean, can you really blame me? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and wait? That's what many of them did, Alfie. They sat there and waited when they couldn't search anymore. I barely have a week. Johnny here's gonna become the new Don. You know, you always had a family here, Alfie. You mean a lot to me, just as much as my fucking brother. I know what kind of person you are. What kind of mind you hone up there. 
felt like I always needed to take care of you. I'm sorry that I couldn't be there for you in your time of crisis and need. <laughs> so I am the one who is apologizing for you turning on me like this. I do thank you for not being angry at me for my decision. I get it. It's okay. You do what you gotta do. While I was talking with Alfie, the Doc got drunk, so Enzo escorted him back to his house. The Doc was really taking all of this hard. I couldn't help him, Enzo. You can only do so much. There's nothing I can do. Mister... Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for taking me home, bud. I owe you one. <sighs> Trust me, you take care of all of us. It's the least that we could do, eh? Make sure you get to some fucking rest, eh? Eh, just uh, sleep right. Here, eh? Uh, Doc, I'm gonna uh, hang on to this for you, eh? I'll uh, give it back in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> you do that. I don't want uh, someone to uh, take from uh, the closet, eh? Truly is goodbye. Uh, I'm sorry, and don't remember me as the one that betrayed you. No, I, I don't want that. I want you to remember me, uh, the one that wasn't strong enough to do what had to be done. I will remember you, Tony. I do thank you for what you did. So I'll remember you then. I'll have Johnny escort you out safely since I'm dying, then I'll see you on the other side. Remember when we were back in the prison and, uh, that fucking Russian, you know, talked to you to some stupid shit that, you know, you really, uh, <laughs> you know, you, you really shouldn't have done. But you know what? Like I said before, when we first got out, let the past be the past. I want you to remember those words. But I do have a couple words I'd like to say to you. Oh, real of quick. course, of course. Yeah, looks like we're uh, we're pretty much alone. That's good. We could we could talk right here. This is good. So, um, yes, this is a good spot. I I did come for one more little reason other than just seeing Tony one last time because um, I understand what has to happen, and um, after he passes away. Um, you're going to be left, the king, and, uh, well, uh, I can't, um, I can't get in the way of that, and me and you, well, that's not going to work, so, I understand, uh, I had a good run, and, um, well, you do, uh, do what you must. Just remember, we really could have used your help looking for him, Alfie. Betrayal was real hard on his family. I never said it was easy in this line of business. But some things, they need to be done, and that was one of them. However, I was still very sick, and it was only getting worse. Make sure nobody's uh, snooping around. I, I I need to talk to the Dawn for a minute, man. I I need to talk to Tony. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, Alec. Alec. Blue. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish Blue. I had better words right now, man. Better words. What's there to say? I am 
blue. Would you mind turning on that little radio on the table there? I think there's a frequency where there's some old time music or something. How's that, Bob? It's all, you know, staticky a little bit, but feels good. What can I do for you, Blue? Huh? You know, you're like a brother to me, right? I would never think otherwise. You think you might be able to stand just for a minute? Give me a second here. If you can, man, that's fine. <laughs> uh, still got a little bit in me. Oh. You, you know how it is. You know where I came from, right? <sighs> yeah. Hey, Johnny, you have been right here, a powerful force in my life, man. You're the only reason I am out here, and you are the only reason this family exists. I owe you something that, uh... <sighs> I gotta do this or I ain't gonna be able to, man. You what deserve you to die on your feet. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Blue! What the fuck, 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 fuck Blue? What, what the fuck happened? Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> god. He was gonna what shoot me. <laughs> Philip would have been there. I don't know what would have happened. Thank you, Philip. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! Right now! Lucifer knew about my cancer. He came to town to pay his respects. He let me know about this new group of people he's been with. Very resourceful people. So he was gonna set up a meeting very soon. To possibly find my brother Bobby. Dying of fucking cancer. <laughs> what are the odds? You know, I thought one of those dead things was gonna get me, or somebody was gonna kill me. Never like this. <laughs> <laughs> it was good to see you. It's good to see you too. The group uh, is calling me on the radio. I better get to them. You yes. do good, my old friend. You do. Stay out of fucking trouble. Please. All right. Lucifer. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Apart from the whole ear shit. <laughs> everything else. <laughs> Thank you for being like a father to me. Not long ago, I met that guy called Jacob Austin. He's the one who asked me to try to get Tate for him. He decided to pay me a visit. I'm guessing he's here for an update. Tony, he's, he's here to, to speak to you right now, Jacob. Uh, apparently something happened to him. Okay. Uh, and, uh, and John needs I... nowhere to be found. Hey, do I look like I'm dead? Uh, I ain't dead yet. No. <sighs> I don't want to feel like I'm fucking dying, so I still take this, clients until I do, okay? This, uh, Alright, Jacob, come on. I want to have uh, Liam in here, just to make sure. Come on, here we go. There it is, take it. Come closer. Evening, Mr. Moretti. Evening. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm a little sick. Why do I owe this reason? presence I was uh out and around electro after the day we uh first met and I uh met a fellow he uh robbed me along with his brother and so I was roaming around a couple days later and trying to head north to meet up with some friends and I uh I uh, happened upon uh that one castle out by Mogulevka, and I, uh, I found a body, of, and Will uh, looked like it was uh, Kate Hollow's body. Man, he's sleeping with the fishes now. He's not going to disturb anybody. 
Or you, or anybody else. I have a note of uh, my attacker's descriptions. Austin, I am handing you a secret mission to gain info on Tony Moretti. Report back to Commander Trailer Justicar Pavlak with any findings. You are licensed to kill, but try and keep him alive as long as possible. If killing is a must, hand him this note and watch him squirm in disgust. I will see you, if not soon, one day in the future. Remain vigilant and secretive. Your life depends on it. Signed, Warden Tate Hollows. The fuck is this? Take out Tate from. Wait, the fuck. Uh. Hey! On the fucking ground! <laughs> Down there. <laughs> Here, check Mr. Murray. You're fucking dead. Where's Doc? He did work for him. He did work for fucking Tate. Bring him to Marty Boy's coat. No! Turns out this fucker who stabbed me in my side is a regulator. So that means more to bus go for him. But somehow a bunch of infected came to town and ended up having a way with Jacob instead. Fuck out of ammo. I'm dry, I'm dry! Hey, where's this fucking knife? Hold on, I got an idea. Where's this fucking knife? Hold on, let me find this fucking knife. <laughs> hey, Lucifer, Lucifer. Hey, hey, you got his knife? You got his fucking knife? Let me see it. Let me see. Let me see it real quick. Let me see. It. Hey, hey, he's got. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let him. Hold on, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. I got an idea. I got an idea. Hold on, hold on. This will. Uh, I'm pretty sure this will. Uh, this will do the job. Hold on. <laughs> oh man, it's getting everywhere. Oh man, that smells. <laughs> oh, oh god damn it. I didn't need this. Boss, I'm so. Oh, god damn. So, I should have thought. No, 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 no you did good. You did good. You, if you went there, he would have killed me, man. Oh, you did good. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You helped. You saved me. That's what you did. Totally forgot. Liam. We have some information. You need to go. I find a man. Called Dr. Rosenfield up in Barrazino. It's not much I know. He may have some information about your dad. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you for saving me. Thank you. No problem. He's in here. We'll find your brother. Don't worry. people in town were really starting to feel the depression. So many bad things happening. So Johnny had to step up, try to motivate them. We need to be strong. We can't let all this sadness fucking get to us. We're a fucking mafia, remember that. Tony may be dying, just remember this town's got hot. We won't let this put us down. No matter what happens, Tony dies, Tony lives. We're still the New World Mafia. It was finally time for me to meet this group of people Lucifer's with, and also talk business about finding my brother. Man, Jesus fucking Christ. He's like, you've been through the ringer. I sure have. But, uh, like I say, as long as I'm fucking alive, I keep running my business. It's very commendable that, um, well, here you are, in such poor health. I counted at least 20 souls that were, well, they were willing to cut anyone down that uh, looked at you cross by. Mm, you must really be one hell of a man to command that kind of respect. You see, I'm a businessman. I'm a man of respect. And I will give respect to anybody who earns mine. Uh, speaking of business, I suppose the last thing you want to be talking about before, well, you go is business. 
So let's get this over with, shall we? I just need a little bit more information about uh, your brother, yes, Bobby. He's kind of a loudmouth, you know. You'll you'll recognize him instantly. He's he's got my accent, <laughs> sort of, you know. He's from Brooklyn, you know, and uh, very charismatic kind of man. And he's a goddamn stubborn son of a bitch. <laughs> I gave them as many details as I could about him. There's not much I could say, because I haven't seen him since we separated that day. We've discussed our business. Now we need to uphold our end as best we can. Yes. I'm gonna go and let you rest. Yes. It was a pleasure meeting you. The pleasure was all mine. Please, hurry. At this point, all I could do is wait. Wait to see my brother. I'm more likely to die before that happens. But then a delightful surprise happened when Tucker came by. I don't know how to say it, but you've done so much for me, Tony. When I first met you, I wasn't even capable of showing my face. I hid my name. I don't have to do that anymore. It's all thanks to you. But you got to be careful, Tucker. <coughs> you've got to be careful. Yeah, don't feel ever too fearless. Use that fearlessness at the right moments, okay? And you'll do well. And thank you for helping us when we got out. The hole is getting smaller and smaller. And it's very difficult to breathe and See. <laughs> Tony, I spent the week working on this for you. How would you like to have a cannoli? Are you fucking serious? What took me over a year and more than 20 men took them two fucking days with a handful of men. I don't know how they did it. Lucifer and his friends found Bobby. However, they were struggling to get him out of there since he's a stubborn son of a bitch just like me. Fucking coming up here in the middle of the night. Who the fuck uh, did ya? Finner. Yeah, why well, I don't know any fucking finners. Maybe you should go swim back in the fucking ocean with the rest of the fins. Like I said, stubborn as fuck. But you might know Mr. Tony Moretti, do you not? The fuck do you know about Tony Moretti? Huh? Who the fuck uh, are you? He's the one that. He's the one that sends us out looking for you. The fuck do you know about Tony Moretti? Better start talking fast. Keep my oh, goddamn well. interest before I fucking shoot ya. Okay, okay, okay. I'll start talking. I'll start talking. Just calm down for two seconds. Well, he told us about how there was a deal on Cal Mountain that went sour with the Chern Russian Mafia. They locked you in everywhere. You couldn't leave the borders anymore and right off to the apocalypse started the regulator snatched away Tony. Last saw you on Cal Mountain. How the fuck do you know about that deal, huh? Who the fuck you been talking to? To Tony fucking already. They seemed to have a hard time getting through to Bobby, so the only logical thing was to get him to talk to me on radio. Are you serious? My brother? My brother Bobby? Yeah, Bobby's on the radio. I got him right here. Got him right here. I'm gonna give him a radio so you can talk to him personally. Yeah, you fucking do that! You give him the radio! I wanna talk to him right now! Give him the fucking radio! Bobby... You... You fucking George... Just as stubborn as you've always been... Tony, is that you? It's me, brother. Oh my fucking god! Tony, who the fuck are these guys out here? I know they're a little off, but... You're going to have to... To trust them. They will bring it to... To me. It's fucking Christ. Go with them, little brother, please. Alright, alright, all right, all right, all right. All right, yeah, I fucking get it, I get it. You got my brother, okay? Shut the fuck up, bitches go. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking uh, I'll be there as soon as I can, okay? Bobby, he's coming. He's coming. Yeah, boy, he's he's coming, he's coming. I wanna rest. Before he's... <coughs> Before he comes, I want as much energy as possible. Only the dark 
Stays. Okay, boy. All right, you heard him. Everybody out. We all knew this day was gonna come. The day of my end. But I had to hold on. That much longer. To be able to reunite with my brother, my blood, my familia, and thanks to Lucifer and his friends, I got to do that. Tony! There he is. Tony, you in there? He's uh, in the jailer house. Oh my god, it's him. Oh, my God, Tony. Tony. <laughs> See? Oh. oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Where's the doctor? Where's the fucking doctors? I right, what, 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 what the fuck are you doing for my brother? Uh, you can't fix this, Bobby. I have cancer. The lungs. Of course we can I... fucking fix this. People, people fucking, uh, get better from that all the time, right? Right, Doc? <laughs> Infected more than just his lungs. It hurts, Bobby. Uh, I, uh, I'm so happy to see you, man. <laughs> I've been looking for you for fucking a year. You know, we fucking, uh, we'll, we'll figure something out here. You know, listen, I'm gonna go see Mama eh? uh, and Pop. It ain't your time, Tony. Come on. We we just got back together, you know, we gotta fucking get out there and get those motherfuckers who got you, right, you know? They're dead. Almost all of them. I want you to know, I created a mafia, just like back home. And I want you to be part of this family, even if I die. Tony, you, you are my fucking family. I'm home right now, Tony. What happens when, if I die? We ain't gonna fucking die, okay? Look, you're not dead. You, what if you I die, die, Bobby? What if I die, you're Bobby? You're not gonna die, you Italian fucker. Listen, okay, we're gonna fucking work this out. There's something we could do. There's, there's fucking doctors everywhere. They've been pulling the fucking weight, trying to get me back on my feet. There is nothing they could do. And I don't want to fucking die, Bobby. I really don't want to fucking die, okay? But I'm gonna die! Tony, it's gonna be... Tony, Tony, it's gonna be okay, alright? Just, just relax, just fucking just calm down. Don't, don't, don't stress yourself, okay? You just, just fucking relax. Gonna, uh, doc, Doc, you got, got anything for this, Doc? I love you, bro. And no matter what... Live. Free? Tony! Tony! Don't you fucking do this, Tony! Move back! Tony! Tip. No! 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 Tony! my brother. I hadn't seen him in a very long time, but uh, he was one charismatic motherfucker. I look around here and apparently you all were very close to him. You all must know what kind of man my brother was. Fucking wish I could have done more for him, but uh, I, I guess that's just not how, uh, not how things were gonna play out. I don't know where the fuck you ended up now. Hope you ain't suffering there anymore. I was on my way to uh, take my own life when I ran into Tony, and uh, running into him gave it gave me a reason to keep living, I guess you could say. And uh, and he will be uh, missed. All I can say is, God bless you, Tony. You gave me the strength to say my name once more. And not only that, you've put me in charge and given me the responsibility. So I'll continue to do that job, Tony. I'll do it for you, and I'll do it for Johnny and for every single person here. Tony, uh, Tony took me in, gave me a job to do. A job I'm sad to say I failed, it's where I'm having to do this. 
I promise you that I won't fail them as I failed you. Ever since we were in that prison, you took care of us. And you did till you died. Now only hope that uh, as one of the original members, me and Johnny can keep that up. You were more than a boss of me. You were like my father. You took me in when nobody would. And I thank you for that. I promised him uh, I was gonna fucking make him another batch of the fucking apple wine. It never fucking happened, but I'll take this one. Just because uh, you were in fucking heaven, no mean you could get uh, no get the fucking shit face. I, I realized that all this time, me just being sad that I'd lost my family. She made me realize I didn't lose my family. My family is right here. You guys are my family. <laughs> I never would have, I never would have found you guys if it weren't for him. He was a great guy. If it wasn't for Tony, I, I probably wouldn't be here right now, honestly. I know you're smiling down at us right now, pal. I salute you. Tony, you fucking dude. <laughs> We all love you. I guess my last words to you was a rest all in bed, TMO, red dinner. I love you, my brother. Rest in peace. Ready, aim, fire. is over. See you soon, Tony. Stay tuned after the credits for a special message. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to dig myself out of my goddamn grave to be able to speak to you guys. I'm a little dirty. It's not my usual thing. I like to keep myself clean, you know. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Roach, and we've had an amazing freaking ride. I swear to God, this season has been uh, the best for me. Um, all the support I've been getting from everybody, including the people that are, you know, part of the show, the fans and all that. So let me get to it because I'm really pressed on time and I want to make this short and sweet. First off, I want to thank Mr. Kindred, Alfie, Carl, Leviathan, Bob Man, and all of the New World Mafia crew. You've all been super supportive throughout this whole journey and it's been amazing and it's a lot thanks to you guys. I really gotta thank Weldon as Lucifer Carmen, Anna Verna, Sandman, Ryan Black as Tate Hollows, and all the regulators. You guys have been great villains. Seriously. Thank you for twisting my fucking season up and down. It's it's crazy. And I gotta thank my main man, Nishi Urban, for playing Bobby Moretti. Thanks, dude. You're fucking amazing. Then I wanna thank Modern Kill 82 for the PC upgrades, dude. You've made my FPS so much better, so thank you so much. And I have to thank all of the donators, you kind-hearted donators. Thank you for, you know, sending me some of your hard-earned money, um, you know, just to just to support my series i mean it really does mean a lot and thank you to everybody who was part of the show that was even remotely part of this you know in any way shape or form and made it interesting thank you you guys you know who you are i can't thank everybody individually because of time but i gotta thank all of the fans of the show seriously you guys have been there through thick and thin sometimes you waited two three weeks for a freaking episode but you got it you know and and, and here we are at the end. So thank you guys for being there throughout this whole way. You guys were amazing. Without you, there is no show. There's no reason to make one if nobody's going to watch it, right? So thank you. I also really want to thank Smoss and the guys at DayZ uh, for featuring me in the status report. That, like, is just amazing. 
thank you so much like twice in a year seriously i i can't believe you guys like my stuff so much that that you you're ready to feature it and show the whole world you know so thank you for that thank you so much i cannot forget about the daisy rp community thank you to all the staff for their hard work and thank you for for everybody who voted for me for media of the year and got me that friggin dank blue mvp title thank you guys so much i appreciate that We've come a long way, a year and a half, three seasons, almost 2k subs, over 100,000 views, but now it's time I took a long deserved break, I have a second kid on the way, and, and lots to prepare for, and, and I need a second job, and you know, I, I love doing this, but I gotta pay the bills, you know, so unless, you know, some miraculous thing happens where, you know, I start making money with the show, or I, I get regular donations or something like that, then, you know, I need to take this break, it, it just... I gotta do it, but it doesn't mean that it's over, right? So I'll be back, just like every TV show out there, I just need a good break. Uh, so season four should be around in roughly seven months. I need that time, guys. However, I'm still gonna stream and I'm still gonna show you some videos once in a while, um, some really awesome mini movies and stuff like that that we have planned, so you'll keep an eye out for that. Now, I know a lot of you have some questions, so we're gonna host a live Twitch Q&A session planned for April 23rd, 2016 at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Note this down. So please, find my comment below, keep it nice and tidy and easy for me to find, and ask your question to anybody in the cast, not just me. Almost everybody's gonna be there and ready to answer your questions. So come have fun with us, all right? We have lots to talk about, I'm sure. So make sure you follow me on Twitch to get notified when the live Q&A starts, and also to be notified of future streams. And you might also want to follow me on Twitter and Facebook to stay up to date with any future plans for shows and movies or anything that has to do with Gaming Roach Entertainment. And again, I can't say this enough. Thank you all for your support. Much love to everybody.